there is a massive, massive problem with Canada's legal cannabis system. And it lies with the big five banks. I just read an article out of the National Post. And I will throw the link in the description of this video so you can read it for yourself. It's a five minute article. But to summarize it, despite being legal here in Canada for it's going on six years now, uh, legal cannabis shops still cannot hold business accounts with any of the big five banks in Canada. Now those are TD, BMO being Bank of Montreal, RBC being the Royal Bank of Canada, CIBC and Scotiabank. Now these banks are banks that also have a foothold in the States. And a lot of the cannabis advocates are theorizing that because weed is not federally legal in the States yet, that the banks in Canada that do business with American companies are refusing to accept money that has been made in a legal business. Um, because it has to do with cannabis. Now, this is because, as I said, this is this is because federally in the states, weed is still a Schedule One narcotic, which makes no sense at this point, considering that over half of the country has recreationally legalized it for the state. It it's about time that they've the federal government follows suit because Canada is not the only country where, where weed is legal and the only bank to respond to the national post, um, when they reached out for comment said, we, the cannabis marketplace worldwide is forever changing and expanding. And we do our best to follow the laws of the countries that we do business with. So basically they're affirming that because they do business with the U S um, and, and other countries where it's not legal, that they won't accept legal tender from Canadian owned businesses. Now, how far does this go? You might ask, well, well, in the article, we hear of a man who has a business in Toronto. Um, he now has three cannabis shops and they are legal licensed shops. And the bank pre-approved him for a mortgage for a home. But then when they found out that he owned a cannabis business and that's where his income came from, they revoked, they removed the pre-approval and he had to kill his the deal on his house all because he has a cannabis shop another cannabis owner cited having to go to a third party bank that charges him $4000 a year for a fee plus $100 a month this is absolutely insane and the other reason um, that this is affecting the legal market is the access to ease of money transferring online uh, in the black market space and the potency of edibles is another big thing that is really hurting the cannabis market because in, in Canada you are only able to legally sell edibles that have 10 milligrams of THC in them. Meanwhile, on the black market, you can, from the comfort of your home, go on a website and order gummies or chocolates or what have you with THC in the hundreds of milligrams, and you can have them shipped via, via Canada Post, and you can e-transfer your money. And all of those 
things are heavily regulated for licensed cannabis owners. So there really needs to still be some restructuring and tweaking of the system for legal cannabis, meaning or mainly being banks need to start accepting the money made by licensed shops. And we also need to see a potency increase in some of the products that are sold. Now, I'm not saying make them like the black market. I'm not saying, you know, let's sell thousand milligram gummies or anything like that. But for God's sakes, can we at least bump it up to a (laughs) hundred? Like, can can we make it a hundred milligrams at least? Like, you know, can, can we... Can we do that? Just meet us meet us in the middle. And for the love of God, let let these poor people deposit their money and own a home. Holy shit. Like how can you punish somebody for following the laws, getting their business off the ground legally and then going, "No home ownership for you." Although you followed all of the government regulations, because we do business with other countries where it's not legal, we're going to punish you despite it being legal here. What? Get your heads out of your asses, big big 5. Come on. Like, share, subscribe. See see you in the next one and let me know what you think in the comments down below.